Hey, I'm Matt Corby, and I covered TLC's No Scrubs for the Like A Version. Always thinking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass so I actually really love this song, and that's my only reason. <laughs> for real. Yeah. No, I think it's I think it's a 90s classic. I would have been nine years old. I do remember I would go into Sanity, if if anyone remembers that era, and like you could go and like play the play the songs. Like there would be like four CDs, and you could put headphones on and be like, I'm gonna pick this CD. Um, I'm pretty sure me and my sister bought it as a single. Yeah, you can imagine what a nine year old in year four would be doing. Fucking nothing <laughs> other than listening to No Scrubs. <laughs> It was one of the first songs where I remembered the lyrics. Like it, it was such an iconic song lyrically that, and I think it was also kind of funny. It was, it's actually almost like an OG meme song, way pre, pre meme, pre meme meme. Um, a premium, oh. I wanted to find an interesting way to move the chords around. Cause I think the OG is like, it's the OG. Um, right, that's, that's the OG chords, which I couldn't sing it in that key because it's too high. This is a real deep cut, but the very first song I wrote with Bujara, um, I gave him these chords. And I was like, no scrubs would sit on that, no worries. So I was, I just basically superimposed no scrubs onto the chords to Missing You from Budra, which I was really proud of these chords when I wrote them. And I would, me and Budra were like hanging in the studio and it was like the universe being like, give those chords to him. And I was like, damn it, I wanted them for myself. But lo and behold, I have somewhat taken them for myself today. <laughs> so. Hanging on the passenger side. Yeah, I feel like there's not a lot of like versions that are that are stripped. And I remember I did I did my first one 11 years ago stripped and I was like let's let's bring it back to the the OG vibes. I've done 3 including this one and I sang back in vocals with Jared James when he did When the War Is Over. It's funny actually I suggested Chains first, right? And and they're like, what about Lonely Boy by the Black Keys? And this was the night before, like no joke. I was at a party and had my guitar in the car and literally just walked back to my car and grabbed my guitar out. And I was like, all right, how's this song go? Okay, and just figured it out. And then I'm like, yeah, I'll do that in the morning. And then just put my guitar back and went back to the party. <laughs> And then got woke up in the morning and I needed actually the, the lyric sheet with me because I didn't know any of the words to the song. I didn't, uh, I didn't feel super confident going into that one. I don't think it gets easier doing things like this. It's, it's always pretty nerve wracking. It's such an Australian institution, like, like a version, you know, you don't want to screw it up, so. Man, the Teenage Dads one was insanely good. And it was pretty much note for note, like kind of like the OG. The DMA's doing, was it Sure, Man. That was Psycho. His voice is insanely good. Like, almost total perfection. Maybe it is perfection. Once upon a time, you met him on a summer's night. Stomach full of butterflies, dressed in your bed. They never say it wasn't worth it. See, it's crazy. Did they, like, write a whole new song and just use, like, a very small snippet. So that's actually kind of amazing. You can be my resolution. I like that chord change. That's good. I really like his voice. Hey, it's like sounds like he smoked like a thousand cigarettes before, before he sang it in like the best way possible. Maximoid. That's heaps cool. I never knew that that happened. Is that bad?
Mm-hmm. What was I doing? I like the little like semi drop, not real drop drop. That was a good drop. No, that was that was beautiful. Great voice too. I feel very flattered, but I almost can't ex- accept that it. I, I can't accept the feeling of feeling flattered. If that makes sense, is that weird to say? So yeah, it, it's 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 weird. Basically, that's my answer. It's it's it, in the best way possible. It, yeah, um, yeah. The fir- definitely the first time it happened, I was like, "Whoa, that's I can't believe they chose that over potentially every other song in the world." Um, yeah, but yeah, it's it's cool that someone from the you know someone from the states had a crack at, at Monday. That that's kind of nice. Mm-hmm, yeah.